Hey everyone, Steve here from Tech Grove. Today I'm super excited to help you out with an annoying issue that's been plaguing a lot of Android users, the dreaded FRP lock. If you've ever reset an Android phone and got stuck because it asks for the previous owner's info, you're not alone. This can be a real hassle, especially if you bought a secondhand device or just forgot your own login details. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple ways to remove the FRP lock on any Android device, no matter the brand or the country you're in. These methods are straightforward, and I'll guide you step by step to get your device up and running again. So grab your phone and let's get started. Keep in mind, this info is meant to be used responsibly. It's for people who own their device and want to unlock FRP. We don't support illegal activities like bypassing security on stolen phones. Respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's community guidelines. Let's get started. First, type in safeunlocks.com, go to their services, and select the FRP Unlock option. Begin the process by entering your name and email address. Make sure this information is correct and accessible, as you'll receive all the unlocking details at this email. Then, choose the device you want to unlock by simply entering its brand. Next, input your IMEI number and accept the terms and conditions. To find your IMEI number, you can check the back of your phone where it might be printed on a label or under the battery if it's removable. Alternatively, you can also look at the SIM card tray, as some phones have the IMEI printed there. Once you've verified all your information, click the Proceed button. You'll be redirected to your order, and you should receive an email with unlocking information. Follow the steps provided to activate your order. Watching the tutorial video is recommended to understand the activation process clearly. After completing the activation, you'll receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the membership identification box and activate your order, ensuring your device is turned off before doing so. Finally, you will get a new email confirming that the unlocking process has been successfully completed. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will then see a screen verifying the information. After this, follow the entire setup procedure. It's recommended not to add any accounts and to proceed with the device's default configuration. When you complete the setup, head to your device settings and make sure no accounts are associated with the device. This is a quick and easy way to verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. It's important to know that the unlocking services mostly work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or prefer not to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for users who watch our videos. Simply like this video, subscribe and comment with your Android phone model, your IMEI and your country. Once you complete these steps, you'll be automatically enrolled. This provides a clear and concise way for you to participate. Besides using unlocking services, there are other ethical and legal ways to remove the FRP lock from your phone. One method is to contact the original owner and ask them to log in with their Google account to remove the lock. If that's not possible, you can visit an authorized service center for your device brand. They have the tools and permissions needed to unlock your phone legally. Another option is to reach out to Google support. If you can provide proof of ownership, they might help you regain access. Lastly, if you bought the phone from a retailer, they might offer assistance, especially if it's still under warranty. These options ensure you're following legal routes to unlock your device. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and feel free to comment if everything worked for you or if you have any questions.